steady does it. <laughs> Resting on my soda lid. We were the almost we were almost the only people in there. <laughs> yeah, the people showed up like right as it started. I know, right? I hate it when that yeah. happens. You're, you're like, how oh, we get to like horse around for ninety fucking minutes and then yeah, no people show up. Now we have to be quiet. Yeah. On your side, quite a few people ended up showing up at it, actually. On your side, you had, um... There was, like, a whole family with, like, four kids sitting mm -hmm. next to me. And, like, two kids down. Like, yeah, I'll give them credit. The kids were, you know, well-behaved yeah. for kids in a movie theater. They were, mm -hmm. There was one kid that was bouncing in her seat and whatever. Like, uh -huh. it, you know, she wasn't screaming or yelling or crying or yeah. whatever. I could deal with someone bouncing in their seat. What bothered me was... The kid was wearing shoes that had, like, flashing LEDs on the toes. Yeah. So every time she would, like, kick something, her fucking shoes would light up, and it would just distract me. That would have driven me nuts, man, if yeah. I saw that with my ADD ass. No, like, that's, I would... it, that's what it was doing to me, because it yeah. would just be like, ah. And then oh, yeah. was, every time I did it, like, the kid who was sitting next to me would be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I, uh, over on my side, I had... What sounded like a one or two year old sitting close behind me who was giggling through through the whole movie, which which fine, the movie's a comedy, it's made for kids, that's fine. But the kind of giggling it was through the movie was like either that's a kid behind me who's really liking this movie, or there's a possessed doll sitting behind me. It was like <laughs> like I uh, uh. So Some I wanna, creepy laugh. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I don't know if I want to be seeing this movie with baby oops a daisy sitting behind me, like constantly checking over my shoulder and shit. So I honestly don't. I, I've never seen this show before. Like I, I, I know who they are by name and like the the other shows that have gone along with it too. But e even those other shows I've never seen before either. So I'm not an expert really by any means on on this source material or even this show on how this works as an adaptation of this particular tv series I, i've never I, seen I, teen I, titans I, go i'll be straight up honest with you neither am i mm. i know the show exists i've probably seen a couple episodes but it's one of those things that i know for a fact the kid with the shoes just ran behind the car maybe you saw it <laughs> um, <laughs> it was like I knew something was distracting back there. <laughs> um, like I know it exists. I've probably seen a couple episodes, but I also know for a fact that it's fucking not made for me. Sure. It, it's it's not like you know Batman the animated series or a lot of a lot of the superhero cartoons that like adults can still readily enjoy because they're trying to adapt the source material or give you yeah. that super like this is a show made for fucking children mm -hmm. and that's fine yeah yeah like that's honestly in my opinion it's great i might not like the show i might like you know i, I can tell from watching this movie and i'll be honest i kind of liked this movie mm -hmm. like i didn't think it was great but i kind of liked it but i can yeah. tell by watching this movie that like without the stuff that they pulled in this for a movie like i probably wouldn't like the show Oh, I don't, I don't know, like, cause I, I don't know how this movie necessarily stacks against the show, so, but I did really enjoy this movie. I had a good time. The humor in the movie, what, it, it, to me, and maybe it's got some of the same writers, I don't know, but it was reminiscent to me if, like, it, like DC superheroes crossed with the Powerpuff Girls. That was kind of the humor in this movie a little bit, and I like the Powerpuff Girls quite a I bit. I do too, like, the Powerpuff Girls, I think, have a... Uh, from what I know about Teen Titans Go, they ha it has a, a more overt, subversive humor to it. Uh -huh. You know, where like the the weird stuff's a little more apparent, mm -hmm. and more out there. But there were some dark jokes in this there movie were some that I real really appreciate. It's actually a really clever movie. It's it's a it's a DC cartoon. It's a DC cartoon movie. For kids, young adults, whatever, and adults can enjoy a lot of stuff in this movie too. Definitely, there there are some pretty dark jokes in this movie, but it's it's a DC animated parody of 
Marvel movies? Like, because even, even the opening scene is, like, parodying the opening of MCU movies. There's a lot of Marvel jokes in the film. Like, there's... There's, there's a lot stand- of jokes about, like, the, the DC universe, And too. there are that, too. There's yeah, just a there's ton of jokes the- about, about superhero media in general, the, I think. Yeah, it's a really... It was a really clever satire of... Uh, you're right, not just... Marvel movies, although there is, there is a lot of humor towards that in this film, but also just superhero movies in general. It's it's a uni- the, This movie is a universe where superheroes exist. Batman exists. Superman exists. But so do superhero movies, and they do a lot of really clever stuff about how the superheroes are all distracted because they are making superhero movies. Like, a lot of the villains can kind of take over and do some villainous shit because Batman and Superman are busy making making a Batman v Superman movie. And the Teen Titans in this movie, or Robin specifically, is wanting to make his own movie. Like, everything else is, is getting their own movie. The Batmobile has its own movie. The Utility Belt has its own movie. And th- there's some really clever stuff there with, like, fake trailers. Um, but his obsession in the movie is to make a movie. And he wants an arch nemesis. He wants to save the day because he thinks doing all that will finally get him a movie about him. It's it's actually really clever. I, I, I dug it. And it was... It, it was funny, and some of the dark stuff in it, because at one point they start going back, the Teen Titans start going back in time <laughs> to stop superhero origins from so happening. So they could be the only superheroes left. Yeah, and so they, they save Bruce Wayne's parents, they stop Krypton from being destroyed... Um, they straight up fucking murder Aquaman. They murder Aquaman. As a baby, they by murder him. <laughs> Tossing a fucking what do you call those? Like a six pack ring. Yeah, the little plastic rings. They, they end just up toss it off a dock and he gets caught in and it drowns <laughs> and they just fucking walk away. <laughs> just fucking walk away. My favorite joke in this film was well, the, so they go back in the present yeah. time. Everything's destroyed because there's no superhero, so they have to go back and set everything right. Krypton gets destroyed and then they straight up just push. Bruce Wayne's parents into the alley <laughs> to get fucking murdered and shot to death. And put the pearls on Martha Yeah, Man. they fucking put the pearls back on her. <laughs> they squash fucking Adam in this movie. Who uh, was voiced to great effect by Pat Oswalt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> they fucking squash the Adam in the this Adam film. The Adam squashed like four times. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right under their foot and just fucking brush him across the carpet like he's a like he's a fucking grasshopper <laughs> no i i did get some good laughs out of this this i i actually got more laughs out of this movie than i did the lego batman movie yeah i recently watched the lego batman movie and i'll be honest i, t- I didn't think it was great thank you i thought it, i was the only one no. when that movie came out no yeah and you know what it is is they were trying to do the humor that was in the Lego movie, uh-huh. which was great in yeah. the Lego movie. I, but, like, yeah, it just, for me as a whole, to review a completely other movie, yeah, like, the the Lego Batman movie, to me, had moments. It did. But it wasn't something I ever want to watch again. This movie, I thought I thought the plot was more clever. I laughed way more at this movie. And when I saw Lego Batman, I reviewed it solo with Brian. And I was like, yeah, it, it's fine. I don't really like this as much as a lot of other people do. But I sort of chalked it up to... Um, we had just seen that Return of the Cape Crusaders movie. Yeah. Which I thought was a million times more clever. So I was like, maybe I'm just kind of... I just way preferred uh, that movie, but I don't know. I only saw Lego Batman when it was out in theaters, but between, like, the animated, like, DC comedies I've seen, I fucking love Return of the Cape Crusaders. That one yeah. I probably put it at the top of the recent ones. This one's really funny and clever. I like both of those movies better than I like Lego Batman. Um... I might have liked Lego Batman better than Batman and Harley Quinn. I don't know. <laughs> Batman and Harley Quinn wasn't very good. <laughs> even that, like, it had its moments. But even that was better than the, uh, the the fucking killing joke one they did. 
<laughs> yeah, they were all better than that. Um, <laughs> well, we finally get to see Nicolas Cage play Superman in this yeah. film. Yeah, no, that was great. Like, the, but that's one of those jokes. Like this, this whole movie. Like whether you you like the TV series or not, and I know a lot of comic fans fucking hate that TV series. The one that this is based yeah. on. For for a yeah. lot a multitude of reasons, but I think the 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 one of the main reasons a lot of people really dislike it is that like there was a period of time and it still might be happening now where like the Cartoon Network they're just like fuck it we're gonna show this all day. Oh okay. Um, I mean I don't know like it if it's if it comes down to not liking this as an adaptation, then. As an well, adaptation, it's not a good Teen Titans adaptation. But there's Outside other Teen now, Titans adaptations that exist and that you can watch. It's not well, like this is the only one. It's not like this is the only one, and also this one isn't meant to be a straight adaptation. No, it's like not. This sh like I said, the show's for fucking yeah. children. Yeah. It's not for young adults. It's not for teens. It's for fucking children. And it and it even yeah. but it but it also it's clever though. It's yeah. not cheap. This movie's not cheap with it. It is good satire of superhero movies. How many su in this universe right here, superhero movies seem to be the only thing that exists. Yeah. And there's really clever stuff that they're saying about that in this film. And besides that, like as a comic fan, I was just having a fucking ball yeah. looking for all the weird background in jokes. Yeah. Like they put fucking DC characters that you would never expect in this shit. Fucking Animal Man is in this movie. There was a <laughs> there's a really funny uh recurring gag with the uh Challengers of the Unknown. Yeah, the Challengers of the Unknown yeah. are a recurring joke in this. And quite honestly, like that is not a general knowledge group yeah. of characters for people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they 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 throw out really clever jokes like that in it. It isn't just simply like, uh, oh look, there's that thing, or look, there's that thing. And sure, I mean like, okay, yeah, when it's like a crowd of them at like there's a, a movie bunch screening, in the background. sure, there's there's some in the background, but they do they really do clever jokes with yeah. a lot of these like lesser known characters like well, that. Well, and just some of the painted backgrounds too. Where they're they're great. They're standing in the lobby of the movie theater talking about things, and there's just tons of fake superhero movie yeah. posters behind them and half of them are hilarious yeah yeah um and when they got to the studio was there a giant picture of henry cavill with a mustache yeah. over the entrance i thought i saw that yeah. but it went this is one of those movies where you could actually watch it again and pick up yeah a lot more extra stuff that you might have missed the first time well like i think my favorite like overt and stupid joke in the entire thing was that when they walk onto the Warner Brothers lot. It's not yeah. just the studio. It's the Warner Brothers lot. Yeah. And they yeah. look up at the water tower. Fucking Starfire goes, hey, that's where the Animaniacs Oh, live. yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was a funny joke. Um, the no, the I, Stan Lee joke was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It, I thought it would have been better if he hadn't talked. Like, cause oh. Because when, <laughs> when they're first on the studio lot walking yeah. around, Stan Lee's in the background poking his head around him, mm -hmm. like making faces. And I just thought, like, yeah, that's funny. And then they had to start talking, and I'm like, ah, fuck, you kind of ruined that joke for me. But I got a couple. I still got a couple yeah. of chuckles out of that. It would have been really funny if before this movie uh, showed, especially with that audience in there, if they showed the Titans trailer. All these kids there to see this movie. All of a sudden, Batman. fucking crushes dude's skull under his foot. The fuck, Batman! <laughs> Honestly, like I wasn't surprised that <laughs> some of the DC stuff that there's new trailers out now didn't play. But I was kind of surprised there what the Shazam player trailer didn't show. Yeah. Um, is that just debuted online though, or just, is it in theaters now? The, the trailer. The trailer, I don't know, because it debuted at uh, uh, Comic-Con. So. I saw the trailer for that. I saw the trailer for that and Aquaman. Which, and... I'll give him credit. As, as I've said before, I have not been a big fan of the DCEU. I really liked both of those trailers. I did, too. Like, I really, I really did, too. Did. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have such low expectations for that Aquaman movie, but that trailer looks awesome. Fantastic. It's a cool trailer, and I love James Wan. They have yeah. a competent guy uh, directing it. Now I'm looking forward to Aquaman, and Shazam looks like a lot of fun. It looks like the superhero movie crossed with Big that we've been waiting for. Well, and that's what Shazam has yeah. always been. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, that I, I'm or looking forward I to both say, of those movies. You know what? I, I, I'm just going to make a policy right now. I will call the movie Shazam. Yeah. I will call the comic book Shazam. 
and I know they've changed it, but that character is still, in my opinion, he's Captain fucking Marvel. That's oh. his goddamn name. <laughs> I don't care about the lawsuits. Yeah. He's been Captain Marvel since, what, the fucking 30s? Mm -hmm. His name is Captain fucking Marvel. Yeah. Fucking is literally part of it. It's in print. <laughs> <laughs> That one, they're definitely gonna have to give it an R. Yeah, <laughs> I recommend this movie. I, um, you know, I, I totally. It was a good. I, I've seen like six or seven movies this week, and I got a little bit of a break between this and the next movies I got to see. So uh, I'm glad this is one to kind of go out on before I. Well, I got was, like five days before I got to see something if else. Nothing else. Like it's light and easy, and if you got. You know, if you got kids and they want to go see a movie, no, oh, yeah, this is this is fine. It's easily yeah. worth a matinee screening to go see. Yeah. I, I I had fun with this. I mean, I was, uh, I mean, there were moments in the movie where I was kind of drifting in and out a little bit, but but quite honestly, I I chalk that up to the fact I've been at like six or seven movies this week, so I was kind of yeah. tired sitting there watching this. But I, I felt I personally also felt it was a little long for what it was. Oh, but it picked up at the. It, yeah. it just had some weird lulls in it. There was one thing about it that drove me nuts, and mm. this is nitpicky as fuck, but the the villain throughout it is Deathstroke the Terminator. Yeah. They never say his fucking name. They call him Slade, right? They call him Slade. Oh, but not Slade they, Wilson? Not even that. They never call him fucking Deathstroke. Oh. His name is Deathstroke. I see what you're saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was actually kind of thinking about that in the yeah. movie, too, honestly. Like, that, that thought did cross my head. And then I kind of forgot about it as the yeah. movie was going along. But no, no, I I was thinking that at first. I was like, are they going to call him his like, name? Like, is the word death not okay, but they're making it's Deadpool jokes? Like, come on, like... Which it I got can't be that, but considering what the last <laughs> line in this movie is, which is one of the best trolly last lines I've seen in a movie. And a kid's movie. That's and a kid's special. movie, nonetheless. Oh, man. Those moms who are mad at show dogs aren't gonna like this. <laughs> Fuck them. This is a th that's a great last line. No, I agree. I I totally agree. That got a really good laugh out of me. I know most people in our audience are gonna see it, so I'm gonna spoil it. So he here's a big spoiler. Mm -hmm. Right as the credits are about to roll, Robin zip lines up flat up against the screen, as big as he could get, and goes, "Kids." Ask your parents where babies come from. That's a great last <laughs> and then line, man. Credits. That's one of my fi yeah. I'm like, oh, that's some beautiful trolling. Like, yeah. man, that's one of my favorite last lines in a movie since we went to go see Eyes Wide Shut, and it ends with, you know what we should do? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> credits. <laughs> yeah. No, I recommend it. It, yeah. it was a good movie. It was. It was fun. Yeah. Like, like I, I know a lot of people are gonna be angry that we're not tearing this to fucking shreds because like the one tweet I sent out before we started watching the movie like half the replies are like yeah fuck this shit like, what yeah and I'm just like but it was it was fine like yeah I, I never need to see it again but, no, yeah. But at the same time, like, I don't regret seeing it. I've got no all. major problems with it. It is a fun movie for its audience. And yeah. This is, the I think, the problem that a lot of, like, geekdom has is knowing when you're the audience or not. Yeah. And let's be honest, most of geekdom now are dudes our age and older. Sure. Yeah. Most yeah. of geekdom. Dudes our age and older, mm -hmm. and they get upset when things that are meant for kids aren't directed at them. Uh huh. This was meant for fucking children. So if you've got a problem with that, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's for it's kids, good, you it's, fucking asshole. It's a good kids movie though, because yeah. we sat there, you know, our fucking age in that yeah. theater. Like we, I mean, we sat there. We had a really good time in that in this movie because this is a kids movie that does yeah. throw really clever humor out there for both kids and adults. Yeah. Like there is good stuff in this movie for people our yeah. age and the kids that were in that theater and there was quite a few in there. The kids that were in that theater were having a really good time during yeah, this film because it was fun. Yeah, and that's what it needed to be because it's a fucking kids mm -hmm. movie. All right, guys. I got a uh, long ass live stream tomorrow. So. Uh, or, well, today, as you're probably watching this video, uh, Saturday, starting at 10 a.m. Central, I'm basically just going to be live streaming uh, until I, until we get the funding for our movie, or I just 
stop. Die. <laughs> or if I, die. If I have a stroke on camera. Get um, out your checkbooks. Spend some fucking money. <laughs> like, we need a good art budget so I can get paid. Exactly, okay? yeah. Like, I have plans for the poster already. I think it's going to be my best poster. Sweet. But I'm going to be honest. It's going to be the most expensive one for mm -hmm. me to produce. So we need funding. I need my snob budget on this movie, too. I need extra expensive snark. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you then. Later.